Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. Today we're going to continue our journey through the Psalms with a look at Psalm 73. Follow along with me in your copy of God's Word as I read Psalm 73, a Psalm of Asaph. Surely God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet came close to stumbling. My steps had almost slipped. For I was envious of the arrogant, as I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no pains in their death, and their body is fat, and they are not in trouble as other men, nor are they plagued like mankind. Therefore pride is their necklace, the garment of violence covers them, their eyes bulge from fatness, the imaginations of their heart run riot, they mock and wickedly speak of oppression, they speak from on high. They have set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue parades through the earth. Therefore his people return to this place, and waters of abundance are drunk by them. They say, How does God know? And is there knowledge with the Most High? Behold, these are the wicked, and always at ease they have increased in wealth. Surely in vain I have kept my heart pure and washed my hands in innocence, for I have been stricken all day long and chastened every morning. If I had said I will speak thus, behold... I would have betrayed the generation of your children. When I pondered to understand this, it was troublesome in my sight. Until I came into the sanctuary of God, then I perceived therein. Surely you set them in slippery places. You have cast them down to destruction. How they are destroyed in a moment. They are utterly swept away by sudden terrors. Like a dream when one awakes. O Lord, when aroused, you will despise them. When my heart was embittered and I was pierced within... Then I was senseless and ignorant. I was like a beast before you. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You have taken hold of my right hand. With your counsel, you will guide me and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And besides you, I desire nothing on earth. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For behold, those who are far from you will perish. You have destroyed all those who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, the nearness of my God is my good. I have made the Lord God my refuge, that I may tell of all your works. In this amazing, beautiful psalm, the psalmist is very transparent about his previous way of thinking and his really sinful way of thinking before. He contrasts in this psalm the end of the righteous, those who will be with God forever, those who are held by God, those to whom God is a refuge, and the wicked who will come to sudden destruction. But he does so by pointing out how he once envied the way of the wicked. Because from an earthly perspective, one might be deceived into thinking the wicked have it easy. They're wealthy, they're at ease, they're they're fat, which is kind of the idea that they don't have to work hard for anything, everything comes easy to them, and they're wealthy, they're, they're engorged with their wealth and success on an earthly basis. But then he comes to the sanctuary. He comes to be instructed by God. He comes to receive the counsel of God, and his thinking is shifted as he remembers their end is destruction, and the end of the righteous is eternity dwelling with God. What an amazing psalm this is, friends. Meditate long on this psalm today. And let me encourage you, as we think about how to pray in light of this song, pray that the Lord would show you any ways that you might be envious of the wicked, that through his counsel, through the counsel of his word, through the teaching of the church, he might show you any way that you are envious of the ways of the wicked and lead you in repentance like he does Asaph in this psalm. And then praise God for his justice. The fact that he will set all things straight. That there is a determined end for the wicked and a determined end for the righteous. And it is perfectly just. And then pray that God would let that truth motivate you in evangelism. Motivate you not to envying the wicked, but to evangelizing the wicked. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.